Another beautiful day as I welcome you to Mona Life TV. Our lesson is going to be based on how to draw a quadratic graph. Now we have a table of values of which we are going to fill and then use it to draw the graph. So for us to get the values of the y axis, we have the formula on the relation y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4. So we come here, when x is equal to negative 2, we have the x squared, which is negative 2 squared, the same as negative 2 times negative 2. So negative times negative will surely be positive. So negative 2 times negative 2, we are going to get 4. So now we come to 1. If x is equal to negative 1, then x squared is what? Negative 1 squared. Negative 1 times negative 1 will give us positive 1. Now, if x is equal to 0, the square of 0 is the same 0. Now, if x is equal to 1, the square of 1, that is 1 times 1, you get the same 1. Then you come to 2, if x is equal to 2, square of 2, 2 times 2, we have positive 4. We come to 3, 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, and that will give us 9. Then we come to 4 squared, or x is equal to 4, we know that the x squared is the same as what, 4 squared, that will give us what, 16. Then if our x is equal to 5, then the square, the square of 5, that is 5 times 5, we are going to get 25. We come to minus 3x. So here the x is negative 2, so negative 2 times negative 3 will give us positive 6. So this place is 6. Now if x is negative 1, the negative 1 times negative 3 will give us positive 3. Then if x is equal to 0, 0 times negative 3, you will get 0. And then if x, so if our x is equal to 1, 1 times negative 3 will give us negative 3. Then if x is 2, 2 times negative 3, you have negative 6. So the same way, 3 times negative 3, negative 9. Then 4 times negative 3, we have negative 12 there. Then you go to 5 times negative 3, that will give you negative 15. And the negative 4 is constant. So we are going to repeat the negative 4. So minus 4. So now we are going to add to find the values of what? The y axis. So here we have 4 plus 6 minus 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 minus 4. We are going to get 6. So here we have 6 here. Then we have 1 plus 3 minus 4. 1 plus 3, 4 minus 4. You have 0. Then we come to this column. 0 plus 0 is the same 0 minus 4. So we get minus 4. Then we have minus 4 minus 3 will give us minus 7 plus positive 1. You are going to get minus 6. Then here, 4 minus 4 will give us 0 minus 6. And this side is also negative 6 there. Then we have 9 positive 9 minus 9 will give us 0 minus 4. We have minus 4 here as well. So here we have... 16 minus 12 minus 4, you are going to get 0 there. So, then we come to the last one, 25 minus 15, you are going to get 10. And then 10 minus 4, we are going to get 6. So now that we have the values of y as x, we are now going to the graph board to draw the graph. Remember, this graph is a curve. It's not a straight line. We have to use the table of values to draw the curve graph. Now, when you look at the table of values, when x is equal to negative 2, y is 6. So we are going to first of all locate negative 2 and 6. Mind you, negative 2 is for x as x, and then the positive 6 is for the y as x. So we have the negative 2 and positive 6 meeting here. Then the second one we have 
minus one zero minus one zero is here then we also have zero negative four so the x is zero the y is negative four so zero negative four is here and we also have one negative six so one negative six is here and we also have two negative six as well so two negative six is also here then we have three negative four so the three and negative four we have it here and we also have four zero so which is here and we also have five six so the five six is here now that we have successfully plotted our point we are now going to join the point using our free hand Then from the question, you have to find the value of x when y is equal to negative 4. So now we are going to locate the negative 4, draw a line there and project up to find the values of the x when y is equal to negative 4. This way we have the negative 4. So now we are going to draw a line through the negative 4 to get the values of the x as x. So the line y is equal to negative 4 has touched the graph here and this side as well. So we are going to project it up to know the values of the x axis. So from the graph that we have, if y is negative 4, the values of x are going to be 0 and 3. If y is equal to negative 4. So also, we are asked to find the value of y when x is equal to negative 1.5. So here, this is where we can locate negative 1.5. That's in between negative 2 and negative 1. So we are going to project from here to start the graph and see the values of the y as it is. So as you can see, as x is negative one and a half, we project it up to touch the graph here. So as it touches it, we bend it to the other side where the four is. Now thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember to subscribe to the channel Menalize TV for more updates.